Hey everyone, ready for some action? Always ready. Awesome. Well, today we're diving deep into Deadpool's fight scenes. Ooh, good choice. Yeah, these are from all three movies. All three, wow. You guys send in tons of articles about the best brawls. A mountain of them. Exactly. So we're going to break them down. Love it. See what makes them so awesome. You know? Yeah, yeah. And maybe find some stuff you guys missed. Oh, there's always something. Right. I think what's really cool about these films yeah. is that the fights, they're not just like mindless action. Oh, okay. They show like Deadpool's whole journey. Mm -hmm. You see his humor and how the whole superhero thing like changes. Ooh, I like where you're going with this. Yeah. So we've got Deadpool, yeah. Mr. Merc with a mouth, right? He sure is. Breaking that fourth wall, slicing and dicing. He does love his katanas. And it all like tells a bigger story. I'm in. Absolutely. Take that first movie, that highway scene, you know. Oh, yeah. Pure Deadpool chaos. So much fun. Crazy violence, dark humor, the whole package. When I first saw that, I was like, this is different. He's fighting all these guys, but he's also like yeah, joking about forgetting the stove. Uh huh. Yeah. Like the danger isn't even real to him. Exactly. And that just makes it even funnier somehow. That's the brilliance. Like the tension it just disappears with the jokes. It does. It makes him relatable, you know? Totally. He's not like those other super serious heroes. No way. He's flawed. He knows it. And he just rolls with it. It owns it. Exactly. But he's still such a skilled fighter. Oh, absolutely. Guns, swords, even just using what's around him. Smart fighter. Yeah. It's brutal, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's also like kind of beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> like a dance, right? Exactly. He's so agile and the moves just flow. It's not just hitting hard. No. It's about timing, precision, finding those weaknesses. So like a super messed up Jackie Chan movie. Pretty much. You're cringing and laughing at the same time. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you're impressed too. Like, wow, he's good. Yeah. And then as the movies go on, the fights, they change, right? They do. They become more than just Deadpool versus everyone. Right. Like that last fight in Deadpool against Ajax, where oh, the yeah. stakes are higher there. Way higher. It's personal. Right. It's not just revenge. No. He's protecting Vanessa, the woman he loves. Oh. And you see that in how he fights. It's different. Yeah, the moves, they're tighter, more focused. Yeah, you can feel it. You can feel the rage, the desperation. You the heartbreak, even. It's not just funny anymore. No, it's like actually sad yeah there's real emotion there and that's when colossus and negasonic teenage warhead jump in the team yeah it looks cool sure oh yeah but it also shows even deadpool he needs help sometimes he does he's not invincible no he is and he lets them share that burden he does it's like he's learning like it's okay to be vulnerable it is. to rely on other people it is pretty deep stuff for a movie where a guy gets ripped in half exactly it's that contrast it's unexpected. It's what makes these movies so good. Yeah, it's not just your typical superhero flick. No way. So we've got the first movie, right? Foundation. Yeah, we see Deadpool style, his humor, how he handles problems. And then Deadpool 2 comes along. Oh, yeah. And it just explodes. It's like they took everything good and made it even crazier. Absolutely. Like that opening scene with the Dolly Parton song. Oh, my God. It's yes. like a comic book come to life. It really is. So visually amazing. He's just slicing and dicing and blowing stuff up. And the comedic timing, it's still there. And then that funeral crash. Oh, yeah. Who puts a hearse in an action scene? Uh-huh. Nobody. It's so wrong. But it works. It totally does. You never know what's coming next. You don't. But you know it'll be ridiculous and awesome. And then we get Cable in Deadpool 2. Oh, yeah. And that brings a whole new level of intensity. Definitely. That prison truck fight, it's like a master class in fighting. It is. You've got Cable, all brute force and military precision. Yeah, he's like a tank. And then Deadpool, more fluid, more acrobatic. Yeah, like he's making it up as he goes. Totally. It's like a street fighter against special forces. It's awesome. It's not just about who hits harder. No. It's about their personalities, their beliefs, their whole outlook on life. Wow, yeah. It's a fight that's both physical and, like, philosophical. Deep stuff. It is. And we can't forget Domino. Oh, yeah, Domino. Her power, luck, it's like a whole other thing in the fight. Yeah, it's crazy, like she's bending reality or something. Right. Always a step ahead, good things just happen to her. It's so cool to watch. It makes you think, though, mm. how much is skill. You know? Yeah. And how much is just pure luck? It's like she's the wild card. Totally. Yeah. Especially for someone like Cable. Right. He's all about planning. Exactly. Yeah. He's got to have control. And she's just like chaos. She is. It's a fun dynamic. 
It is. But then Deadpool 2 gets serious, you know? Yeah, that final battle. It's not all jokes and explosions anymore. It's deeper. Yeah, we see Deadpool change. He does. He goes beyond the sarcasm. He's fighting Juggernaut, this unstoppable force. And he's willing to sacrifice himself. Whoa. To protect Russell, that kid he's trying to help. That's huge. Like, when I saw that, I was shocked. Right. I was like, wait, is Deadpool being a hero? He is. He's always looking out for himself. He is. But here, he puts someone else first. He does. It's a turning point for him. It's like he's growing up a little. Yeah, and you see it in how he fights, too. Oh, yeah. There's this desperation, this recklessness. Yeah. But it's not just about winning the fight anymore. No, it's bigger than that. It's about something more. And then he gets, well, squished. Yeah. And that suit, covered in ash. It's a powerful image. It shows what he went through. Both physically and emotionally. The heavy stuff. It is. Then we jump into... Deadpool and Wolverine. Multiverse time. And that TVA fight, it's just insane. Right from the start. He's fighting time cops with Wolverine skeleton. Oh yeah, only Deadpool would do that. It's so crazy, these serious TVA agents. Trying to keep things in order. And Deadpool's dancing around with a metal skeleton. And singing NSYNC. It's hilarious. It kind of makes the TVA seem less scary. It does. Like, he's not taking them seriously at all. Maybe he's just messing with them. Maybe. Or maybe he's just that out there. Yeah. And the way he moves in that scene, it's amazing. So much energy. So fluid. And then these unexpected moments. It keeps you guessing. He uses everything. The environment, the agent's weapons. Even his own body. He's not just a goofball. He's a real fighter. He knows what he's doing. But then that car fight with Wolverine. Oh, yeah. Totally different kind of crazy. They can't die. Basically. Yeah, those healing factors. So they just go all out, no holding back. It's brutal, but also so funny. They're ripping each other apart. But they're joking around, too. Like it's a friendly sparring match. Yeah. And they use the car for everything. The seats, the steering wheel, the radio. When Wolverine slams Deadpool's face into the scario. Oh my god, yes. And the greatest show starts playing. Perfect timing. It's genius. Little nods like that's what makes it so good. It's not just mindless action. Right. There's thought behind it. Okay, but now the big one. Deadpool versus Wolverine. In the void. This is what we've been waiting for. The ultimate showdown. And it delivers. It does. So much tension. <laughs> you can feel it. Just these two powerful mutants going at it. And Wolverine's got his cowl. Finally. The fans have been waiting for that. So long. It looks amazing, too. It does. You see their strengths, their weaknesses. They're trying to kill each other. But there's also this respect there. Like they get each other. They do. They're both warriors. Yeah, just different styles. And then, bam. Cameos. Sabretooth. Pyro. Even Johnny Storm. Chris Evans is back. It's like a celebration of the X-Men. Bringing everyone together. From different movies, different timelines. But it's not just nostalgia. No, it shows what the X-Men can be. All these characters, all these possibilities. Now that they're in the MCU. Who knows what's next? It's exciting. It is. Okay, so we've got Wolverine. Yeah. But then it gets even crazier. Oh, yeah. The Deadpool core. Deadpool times a million. Different versions of him from all over the multiverse. Each one unique. It looks incredible. Visually stunning. And it kind of makes you think about superhero movies in general. It does, right? Right. Like, they're everywhere now. They are. And the multiverse, it just opens up everything. Endless possibility. But Deadpool... He can make fun of that. He can. And still deliver those awesome action scenes. And the emotional stuff, too. That single shot sequence with the Deadpool core. So good. The choreography, so many characters. It's insane. The filmmakers, the stunt team, they killed it. Pure talent. It's chaos, but it's controlled chaos. It is. It's Deadpool in a nutshell. Over the top, but self-aware. Exactly. He knows what he's doing. But then, after all that craziness, yeah, that final fight in Deadpool and Wolverine. It's ep it is. It's huge, but also kind of heartwarming. Yeah, that team up. Deadpool, Wolverine, X-23. Grambit Blade, Elektra. All fighting together against Cassandra Nova's army. It's like everything great about the Deadpool movies. All in one fight. The humor, the action, the emotion, it's all there. And that team, it's perfect. Wesley Snipes is back as Blade. Jennifer Garner as Elektra, Daphne Keene as X-23. And Channing Tatum finally gets to be Gambit. 
It's what we've been waiting for. It's like a reward for the fans. It really is. It shows how much potential the X-Men have. All these characters, all these stories. It's like the filmmakers were saying, we hear you. Yeah. We love these characters too. We want to do them justice. And each of them, they have this history in film. Yeah. Some unfinished, some not quite right. Like if it's solo movie, it never happened. And those early X-Men movies. That had their moment. That they weren't perfect. And actors like Wesley Snipes. Yeah. They brought these iconic characters to life. They'd... But they weren't always used the best. Yeah, it's like this fight, it was their chance to shine again. Like a second chance. Exactly. Uh, for them and E, for the fans. And now that the X-Men are in the MCU, who knows what's next? The possibilities are endless. Right? Oh, absolutely. But okay, we've gone from those early fights yeah. to the multiverse and Wolverine and all these X-Men. It's been a journey. It has. But now I want to hear from you guys, the listeners. Yeah, what did you think? What really stood out to you from all these crazy fights? What resonated the most? Are you more into those early, like, raw fights? Yeah, that gritty style. Or do well, you... like the later ones. More complex moves, more emotion. Maybe it's the team-ups, the cameos, the pure insanity of it all. What gets you excited? I think whatever it is, it says something about what kind of action you like. It does. Like, what connects with you on a deeper level? Do you love the underdog story? Yeah, that one guy against impossible odds. Or is it more about that huge spectacle? Heroes uniting, saving the day. What's so cool about the Deadpool movies yeah. is that they do both. They do. They can be funny and serious, over the top and real. Exactly. They don't take themselves too seriously. But they still have heart. And the action, it's always top notch. Always. So as we wrap up this deep dive, one last question for you guys. Okay, hit us. If you could design your own Deadpool fight scene, what would it be? Ooh. I like this. Who's he fighting? What crazy weapons does he use? What kind of chaos is he unleashing? And most importantly, what's that hilarious one-liner he drops in the middle of it all? That's the key. Think about it, let it simmer, and maybe share your ideas with us. We'd love to hear them. Until then, stay nerdy and keep those katanas sharp. Stay awesome, everybody!